Hey guys, this is actually last week's episode, so if you finish listening to this and you're like, dang, I wish I could listen to another one right now, then you're in luck. Just head on over to patreon.com slash curtisconnor, and for as little as a dollar, you can hear every single podcast a week early. And there's also a monthly bonus video episode on there as well. So if you're a member of Curtis Town, head on over to patreon.com slash curtisconnor. All right, enjoy the episode. All right, guys, and welcome back to Very, Really Good. This is episode 44. Um, plus 44, the band. Remember that band with, uh, with Mark, Mark Hoppus, you know? You know, we all remember that band, right? They had that one song. All right. Well, it's been a while. Um, so yeah, this is episode 44. I, um, just got back from a trip. We were in, uh, we were in Paris, Paris, France. Um, just want to, want to make that clear. It wasn't Paris, Ontario or Paris. There are some other Parises. Peri? Peri. <laughs> there it is. Um, um, and what's that? What the fuck is the deal with that? You know, if there's one, if there's a Paris already, you don't need another one. That's just lazy and not really nice, to be honest. You're just stealing other cities' names for your own city? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Dude, fuck any dude, fuck anybody who has ever stolen a city name for their own city. <laughs> city stealers. Um folks. Cards on the table. Um this is the high podcast. Um, I'm not fucking like baked out of my mind, but um, you know, I had a few, you know, some puffs of some stuff, and um, and we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, I said I would do a high podcast if I got to 100 patrons on Patreon, and uh, well, we fucking did it. Dude, we're at like 160 now, I think. Um, let me check. I'm double checking. Okay, 133. Way off. <laughs> I think we're at like a million. I think we're at like a million patrons right now. It's pretty crazy. Oh, sorry, just 100, 130. But not just. I don't want to undercut it. That is amazing, and I appreciate all of you who've uh, become a patron and it means a lot. It means you enjoy the podcast. It means you want to support me. And, um, and it really means a lot. And to those who haven't, fuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Obviously it does. I understand, you know, um, God, imagine if I was that big of a douchebag, if you ain't giving me money, then you don't like me. It's not true at all. It's literally the farthest thing from the truth. I do appreciate the people who, are contributing to the Patreon, and I appreciate the people who aren't, you know? Save your money, dude. Buy a house. Because it costs the same amount to buy a house than it does to, you know, contribute to my uh, to my Patreon. It's the same, literally exact same amount to the cent, dude. Down to the fucking cent. Um, what the fuck? Dude, this is, this is a Monday. This is the first day of pretty much my first full day of being self-employed and being at home and working because, you know, I quit and then I went to Paris for a week, but it was like my first day back to work as being self-employed and it's very cool. I like it a lot. It's neat. Um, I mean, it's going to take a while to get used to 100% because even when I was like scripting this week's video, um, I was like... I kept I find I kept finding myself being distracted because um <clears throat> the video that I'm making is about a certain person on Instagram and um I had to watch a lot of their videos on Instagram and then I would just get distracted every second cuz I was on Instagram and that's the most distracting thing ever um so I just kept getting distracted and shit but you know what? I'll get better at it and I'll I'll learn and if I don't, uh-oh. That would suck. Um, 
but yeah, it was a, it was a good day. Got a lot done. I got to, um, I got a haircut today. Oh my God. How boring is this podcast? Um, I guess when I'm a little bit baked, I, um, dude baked, you know, dude, I'm so baked. <laughs> dude, how, dude, how baked are you? Are on a scale of raw cookie dough to crunchy brownie. How baked are you? Um, God, this is weird. I don't know what to call this podcast because I want to let people know that it's the high podcast, but I don't want to name it. I got high, you know? Um, maybe I'll call it hi there, <laughs> but spell H I G H, you know? Hi there. Or hello. That's I got hello. Hey, I got, dude, I got so hello last night. It was fucked. (laughs) So baked and high. Dude, I was so hello and fucking pan fried instead of baked. It's okay. 2019, instead of baked, we're saying pan fried. Dude, I'm, dude, I got fucking pan fried last night, dude. I got fucking poached. Dude, oh, y'all are still getting baked? Okay, cool. Well, I'm getting poached, dude. I'm getting fucking poached. (laughs) I'm getting (laughs) confied. What's another cooking fucking method? Boiled? Dude, there's so many other terms for getting high. You don't have to say baked, dude. There's so so many. I'm getting boiled, my guy. Straight up boiled. Boiled? What are you doing? Um, dude, I'll fucking let's do it. We'll talk about Paris. I was there for the last week. Um, made me realize how ugly every other city is in the world. I swear to God, Paris. You know, because what I always say never is you can never believe it, but you know that I'm swearing to God. Um, that then it's good. Um. Yeah, Paris is so pretty. What the fuck? They, they dude, low key, <laughs> low key. The people who uh, made Paris, they snapped. Okay, I'll say it. I am. I, dude. How can I say something so controversial yet so brave? The the mother the motherfuckers the MFs who who founded Paris. Bruh, they snapped. This was them. That's what they did. The, the, the buildings are old as shit. Walk past the Notre Dame, the Notre Dame. Sorry, is it the Notre Dame? The Notre Dame and Notre Dame, yeah. We walk past that, you know, the movie, the, you know, the hunchback of Notre... But they say Notre Dame. I've always said Notre Dame. Which is just such a bastardization of that because it's French. Um, obviously, because it was in France, you fucking idiot. Um, yeah, it, that was gorgeous. All the old apartment, like all the bu- like apartment buildings, they're like old, just fucking buildings, uh, <laughs> and they look. Yeah, it was just fucking crazy, and we had um, an amazing time. And dude, the thing about Paris is that every like food establishment is just amazing. Like there's some places in Toronto and pretty much anywhere in the States um, where you could go there, but it's like, wait, what am I saying? This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh God. Um, like in the, okay. Any city or town, you go in there, there's good food everywhere, but there's a slight chance that a place might be shitty. But dude, anywhere in Paris is like the best. They have the best coffee, best food, best wine, best um, chocolate, like everything, best everything, no matter where you go. You could, I could have, some guy could have, dude, I could have been walking down the street and some 
guy in the sewer like Pennywise was like, hey, I'm having a restaurant down here in the sewers. <laughs> Even though he has like a New York accent for some reason, but you're in Paris. I'm having a, hey, what's up? I'm having a fucking, is that a New York accent or a Boston one? I'm having a fucking restaurant down here. You want to come down here and eat food at my restaurant? My sewer restaurant? My Boston sewer man restaurant in France? And I'd be like, dude, no. Any other time I'd say no, but when in Paris, you know? When in Paris, you got to go down into a Boston homeless man's sewer restaurant. Sometimes you got to just do that, you know? You're on vacation, dude. I'm not driving. <laughs> Dude. That's the best joke you could ever make. Like if someone is like, I, I got it from Home Alone, but Home Alone 2. But if someone is ever like, um, do you want like, do you want another piece of cake? You should be like, hell yeah, I'm not driving. Because, you know, people say that if they're drinking a lot of beer or wine and stuff. Because you're like, hey, I'm not driving. I can do what I want. But you would just apply that to other things. Okay. Dude, what if I did an an, AS, an ASMR pot? I'll do that. But scream, screaming ASMR. Dude, I wonder if there should be like an ASMR band. And they just toured. And all their music was ASMR. Also, ASMR sounds like someone trying to say awesomer and they have the weirdest accent ever. ASMR. <laughs> you know? Like awesomer. And I'm going to listen to ASMR. What's awesomer? No, ASMR. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. It's like a fucking Neptune accent. That's how motherfuckers talk on Neptune. <laughs> Yo, cart cartoons in space. Nep cartoons. Neptunes. All right, dude. This is a fucking. This is. I will go on record and say this is the worst podcast episode ever of mine, and it's because I'm thinking way too much. Because I don't want to sound high. Or even a little bit poached. I don't want to sound poached, but you know what? I kind of am. Like I, I sound loud. That's that's an issue. But we're moving through it. We're fucking already twelve minutes in. Um, but in conclusion, Paris is great. The food is amazing. It was a nice trip to go on. Um, we had our anniversary there. Ate a lot of good food, and we just had a fucking great time every day. And um, it was a nice vacation to have after my full-time job and now i'm back as a youtuber baby and what's really great is that my first video my first video as a full-time youtuber that i upload gets copyright claimed so i don't make any money from it you know so good you know it's it's amazing that you can put, I don't know, between 10 and 15 hours of work into one thing. Um, and then upload it. And just because you have two seconds of some random ass fucking song in it, that you don't get to benefit from it at all. Um, I mean... You know what I mean? I mean, when I say benefit, I mean like literally fucking a monetary sense. Um, you know, it used to be, I can't really say like, you know, I don't do it for the money, dude. It's not about the money. Because you know what? Now, it, <laughs> to an extent, it kind of is because it's literally how I make a living. So that's fucking annoying. But hey, that's the system, dude. Go to fucking... If you are upset by this, 
just go to, you know, bonfire.com slash store slash curtistown dash apparel and uh, <laughs> grab some merch and that'll make you feel so much better, dude. Um, yeah, did I say that on the most recent pod? I don't know. I got merch now, dude. Um, so yeah, go check that out. The, you can also go to my Instagram. The link is in that bio. So, or you can just Google Curtis Town merch and then that'll pop up. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. Um, what's crazy? I don't know. What was I just fucking talking about? Um, dude, I want to, okay. I want to talk about the airplane rides that we had because they were very interesting. Um, because, you know, no comedian has ever talked about what a pain it is to fly, you know? That's that's the weird thing because there's it's such a a common thing and like everybody does it and um and everybody hates it. Why has no comedian ever talked about airlines? Hmm. I think there's something there. Maybe. Maybe it'll just take one comedian. All I all I need is one. Um sarcasm, you know? So, so so funny, dude. Wow. Um, so the first flight, we took an Icelandic airline because it was cheaper. So we had um a layover in Iceland. Um the land of ice. Let it go, let it go. You know, that's their anthem. <laughs> it's their national anthem is the frozen soundtrack. Um, I don't know what they had before that came out. Um, it was Ice Ice Baby, I think. Dude, if I, oh my god, that's so fucking funny. I don't think you guys understand. If the Iceland national anthem was Ice Ice Baby from Vanilla Iceland. That's his full name. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Wow, I'm losing my mind right now. Um... You know, something's so funny that you just, your brain can't even laugh at it because it's like, dude, if I laugh, if I give you this, if I tell your body to laugh, you'll fucking die. Okay. So I'm going to not do that. But great joke, Curtis. I'm proud of you, said my brain. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're in Iceland for now. Okay. So the first flight, um, there was a baby on it. And no shit because, you know, it's a plane and apparently, those attract babies, because I've never been on a flight that had no kid on it. And I know, okay, people got, people have babies, people got to bring them along, you can't really leave them alone like a cat. Babies aren't cats, um, contrary to paw, pillar belief. Dude, fuck yes. Um, babies aren't cats. They got things in common, but they're not the same. Babies have paws. Cats have paws. Cats wear diapers, and so do babies. They, cats have eyes, but babies don't. So it's they got a lot of similarities, and they got a lot of differences. Um, <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> All babies have no eyes. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Um, so the first flight, baby, cried the whole time. Of course, so fun, love that. Um, and then the second flight from Iceland to Paris, I was like, yeah, there's no way there's could, there could be baby number two, the sequel to the first baby. And then guess what? <clears throat> there was, and he was crying so much. Um... Dude, and it wasn't even those like wah wah in those cries. It was like the, Hurrah! you know, like the ones that are just they're fucking screaming because they had to put a seatbelt on. Dude, if you're crying at that, just wait. Just wait till you hear about fucking. That's it. Just wait till you hear about fucking. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they cried the whole time. It was just the whole thing was just tears and it was amazing. 
Um, and then on the way back, this was our first flight from Paris to Iceland. And this guy was behind us, sitting, you know, just being on a plane. And, um, hold on. Um, and then this girl walked over, sat beside him, because that was her seat. Um, and then she just, like, kept bringing up conversation to him. Oh, dude, this girl fucking sucked so much. Um, and she was talking to this guy, like, they were just, like, chatting, right? Like, oh, why were you in Paris for? What were you in Paris for? Did you have the cheese? Yes, I did. Did you have the cheese? Well, I had the cheese, baby. I ate the French cheese. I ate the French cheese every day. Give me that French cheese, said I. Um, that's what they said. Um, but she started talking about, like, everything, dude. She was like, yeah, I was, I... And she was so loud, obviously. The, the the loudest girl ever. I haven't I've never even been that loud when I was outside. At a like or at a concert, dude. You know when you're at a concert and you gotta yell for the person next to you to hear you? I was never like the, the, she was talking louder than that. And it was fucking baffling. It was impressive TBH, but annoying more than anything. And she was like, yeah, I was like an au pair for 10 months. And this is how much I got paid for. And what? This is how much I got paid. And this is what I did. And I wanted to do this in university. But then I stopped. And dude, like everything. No one fucking cares. Especially on a plane where you're supposed to like, you get on a plane, you put your headphones in, you fucking, you sit and you wait till you're not on a plane anymore. That's what you do. That's what planes are. Not like to make a new friend and be like, this is what I did since I was one. What have you done? Now you now your turn. And you could tell she was one of those people that were just like, when she's talking to someone, like you could just tell she doesn't, she's not really listening to you. She's just like, oh, I can't wait till they're done talking so I can talk more about myself. I'm just doing this to be courteous to, to you. To, to make this seem like a regular conversation, but it's not. It's just me being loud and talking about myself. Dude, I mean, make a new friend, I guess, but, you know, you can just talk at a regular volume. And the guy, the worst thing about it is the guy kept going along with it. There was, like, they were doing the safety demonstration, which stopped their conversation. And I was like, okay. This is it. They're not going to start talking after that because it'd be too awkward. Too much silence has gone on. But once the safety thing was done, they were right back to talking, dude. Like it never happened. And, I was, and me and Jenna looked at each other like, are you fucking kidding me? Like that was worse than the baby. The only thing worse than a crying baby is an adult who likes himself too much. And I like turned to Jenna and I was like, this literally seems like this was the first person she's talked to since her whole time being in Paris, like 10 months, she said, or whatever. And then like, she's finally talking to someone new and she's like, okay, finally, here we go. I got to unload or I'm going to literally fucking die. And I think that's what happened. And he was just like, oh, sure. Well, yeah, I'll make a new friend. God, that fucking sucked. I'll never... Dude, that's literally the last thing I would ever do. Is tell my life story to a stranger on a plane, dude. I've had it with these motherfucking strangers on this motherfucking plane. I've had it. Strangers on a plane. That's a fucking scary movie. Fuck your snakes, dude. Don't... Well, don't, but... Don't fuck your snakes, because, you know, that's gross. But but to hell with your snakes. To s- snakes. Steaks or snakes? What did I say? Um, Ribeye snake. <laughs> snake tartar. Um, wh- what else do I want to talk about? Okay, I want... Okay, okay, okay. I'll um I'll talk about this one thing and then and then we'll um 
go into some questions that you guys sent. Um, I wanted to talk about people on Instagram who who have their um, just their first name as their Instagram name. Aren't those like, dude? Those are so weird. Like, hold on, let me search. Like, what's one? Fucking that one. Brennan. There's one. Just their first name. How do you get that? You know, I like if 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 I ever got like famous enough, and then Instagram was like, "Do you want the name just Curtis?" Like in the Instagram name Curtis, and that's it. Honestly, I'd say no. That's, dude. There's so many Curtises. Kurt I. Who has the Curtis one? It doesn't even show. Well, that's annoying. I don't know. Um, but what's one like fucking? You've seen them, you know. It is. Co- like, I don't even know what my observation is. I just thought like I saw one and I was like, this is. Even though like my friend Zane literally has his just name is Zane on Instagram, but. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's it's weird that like. I just don't understand the process, I think. I need to know more about the process because someone at some point in the first like year of Instagram, I feel like all the names, first names are just claimed, you know? The name was claimed. Um, but then what happens when someone really famous gets famous and then they want their just their first name do they have to like message that person and be like hey i'll give you this amount of money if i have if i can have your instagram name i wonder i wonder i just talked into my water bottle and it made a really cool noise um is that okay okay dude fuck that imagine i did the rest of the podcast podcast in my water bottle Dude, this podcast is a mess. When I listen to this back, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to not upload this, but I need to because I said I would, okay? And when you do, when you say you're going to do something, you got to do it. That's just, that's just the way it is. And I just muted the microphone. Cool. Hey, this is the worst episode ever. (laughs) If you're still listening, I'm surprised. (laughs) <laughs> um, you know what that's not as funny as I thought it was going to be the people who have just their first name as their Instagram account um, but hey honestly dude that's the way life goes sometimes the way life goes you know that's a little Uzi Vert song isn't it I don't know yeah it probably is I think it is Um, hey not everything can be hilarious and perfect you know so, dude I'm I'm human too bro I'm actually a human as well. And you can't spell humane without human. You gotta be humane out here, dude. Keeping it humane. The most humane podcast on the internet. Um. Alright, we're at like a fucking half hour already. Well. And I am gonna go through some of the suggestions that you guys sent me on Instagram. And uh, let's take a look. Tim Tamia forty two asks, um, "What do you hope to achieve by the end of twenty nineteen?" I was about to be like, "Well, that's in like a month," but it's twenty eighteen right now, right? Oh my god, what year is it? Yeah, it's twenty eighteen. What the fuck? Um, wow, I'm a dumb shit. Um. It's the blunt. What year is it? (laughs) Oh, man. Um, What do I hope to accomplish by the end of next year? Um, Dude, I want to be at a fucking million subscribers. I know that's a fucking crazy goal to aim for, but you might as well aim high. Because I aimed low. Dude, 
when the thing started happening on my YouTube, I was like, hopefully I can get to a hundred by the end of the year. And that was in like October or something or September. And, um, yeah, now I'm, I'm like almost at, I'm like at 350 now. It's fucking crazy, dude. I don't even know what's happening. This is still so fucking insane. Um, but hopefully, uh, yeah, if I can get to a million by the end of next year, that'd be fucking perfect and amazing and crazy. I don't know if it's going to happen, but, um, I hope it does. Um, I want to do a lot. I've hopefully done a lot more shows. Um, I've hopefully put out a new comedy album by then. Um, I want to like write, finish writing a pilot for um, a scripted show that I can pitch to networks and stuff. I want to like have acted in something. There's so much, dude. I don't know. There's so many th- things I want to do now that I have more time for it. Um, so there's a lot, but, you know, I think the million subs is the main one. But we'll see. Okay. All right. H.G. Gaskill. Gaskill? Um, wants me to talk about YouTube Rewind. That's a good idea. Good topic. Um... It fucking sucked, man. I mean, I don't think it was as bad as everybody else was saying. But, I mean, it was really super fucking cringy and bad and jumbled. And, I mean, I wasn't in it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, there are so many other YouTubers that shit. Dude, if Shane Dawson was in it, it would have been fine. It would have saved everything. But I don't know why they didn't put him in. Because he literally, like, had the most viewed videos in 2018. Like, he fucking had such a big year. I don't know, man. And that Casey Neistat, like, saying, like, K-pop and dancing like K-pop and stuff. And John Oliver doing a Fortnite dance. And Trevor Noah, you know, flossing. <laughs> now that's YouTube. TV? Oh, yeah, now that's YouTube. It sucks because they were just like, YouTube was just like, hey, John, can you do this dance? And he was like, well, I, I don't want to. And they were like, well, here's, you need to. And he was like, all right. And then he did it. Oliver. Um. Yeah, fucking. It, it was so bad. I mean, honestly, undertaking that. There's so much shit. The use an actual like accurate, accurate YouTube rewind would have to be like two hours long because there's so much shit that goes on on YouTube every year. Three hundred and sixty-five days into a what like a. It's five minute video, 10 minutes, however fucking long it was. I don't know. I feel like it was like 20. I'm an idiot. But I don't know. There's just way more stuff they could have done better. Um, what should I talk about? Wow. Okay. Lucy underscore underscore. Oh my God. Underscore KD. Ask, what is the meme that best represents you as a person? I feel like I answered this before. And I think it's had to do it to him. I think that is me. I don't know why. I think I relate to that a lot, though. Just because it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> But it can be really funny sometimes. Hopefully. I'm just... I don't know. I don't think I'm that funny. But that meme is funny. But I relate to it. I'm not as funny as that meme. No way. 
I just think it's, I do relate to it at some point. At some point or at some level. Dude, I can't fucking, this is the last high podcast I'll ever do because it's a mess, dude. Is this a three-year-old's room or is it a podcast? Little Jimmy is picking up my pod and playing with it, trying to put it on top of a Lego blocks. And listen, dude, this podcast is not compatible with Lego. Let go of my podcast. Um, this person asks, uh, what are your opinions on the way comedy is censored now versus the way it was in the past? That's a fucking actually really good question. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. Fuck. Because, okay, so... My Country Girls of TikTok video that I put up. Um, it, I started it by saying, um, I did a video on Country Boys, so obviously I got to be fair and do a video about Country Girls. And then I was like, I obviously don't want to, because I said something about like covering all the bases, you know, covering everything about being a country f- person. And I was like, I don't want to generalize it to boys and girls because, you know, there's people who don't identify as boys or girls, you know? Um, that's all I said, you know? Because I'm trying to not be a fucking ass. I was just being like, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you know, it makes sense. And then people were like, well, it's fucking sad, dude. It's sad that this guy had to preface this whole thing by saying that so he wasn't offensive. Like, this is sad. This is where we're going, like... You, I can't take you seriously as a comedian if if uh, if you're going to do shit like that. And it was just like, dude, shut the fuck up, you know? Or people being like, don't bring politics into this. Like, it's not politics. It's being a, a caring human being, you know? It's giving a shit about someone else. Um... Because, like, if you're going to be an... Like, what's... I don't understand the desire to be a fucking asshole for no reason, you know? Like, I'm 100% judgmental and, you know, everything. That's all my podcast is. It's just fucking judging people. But we all do it, you know? It's part of life. But I'm only... I come at it from, hopefully, a funny way and a positive way in a way in a way how many times more times can i say way i'd like to know that no way um and i only talk shit about stuff that's stupid you know um but people who are like that or it's like oh you you guys are too pc i should be able to say the n-word if i want to oh probably not (laughs) hey man no like i get it like I understand like sometimes it goes a little too far and I think people know that and I think people are aware of that and I think people are trying to stop that because even I'm when like sometimes when I see something I'm like I'm a pretty accepting and you know liberal person but even when sometimes when I see something I'm like okay come on you know it does get a bit much sometimes and trust me I know everyone says that and they're usually like well it's getting Dude, it's like getting out of hand of things I can't say. I can't say Indian anymore. If I'm talking about a Native American dude, my life is over now. Like, fuck you. No, it's not. Just don't say that. Like, it's pretty goddamn easy. (laughs) And it doesn't affect your life at all. To slightly change your vocabulary to be more inclusive. Because it goes a long way. Um... I don't know what the fuck I was saying anymore. I think it's necessary, and I think people, if enough people are speaking up, then it has to be true, you know? And being a white person, you gotta be able to fucking try to empathize and sympathize with people to be like, okay, where are they coming coming from? Okay, I know we've had, because it's so hard, you get stuck in the life that you've lived that you don't, you aren't able to 
comprehend that someone has had a shittier life than you because it's not fair obviously and your mind doesn't want you to think that but that's true um so you know what you just gotta fucking listen to people and don't be a jerk and i don't know if you can't tell your racist joke at your fucking thanksgiving dinner anymore uh uh-oh looks like you have to just be a regular boring ass cell from now on like the rest of us all right I wake up every morning and I'm like, oh, fucking this guy again. <laughs> I got to be this guy, you know? LOL. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm good. Let's look at some, a few more and then um, we'll call it fear of failure. Oh my God. Yeah, all the time. You just gotta not think. You just gotta ignore it, you know? You just gotta ignore your problems, and then they go away. <laughs> go on tour. Dude, I want to. It's a lot harder than you think. Um, oh my god, dude. This would you rather? Some would you rathers are fucking crazy, you know? Wow, the most profound thing I've ever said. Dude, some would you rathers are crazy. Dude, some decisions are hard to make. You ever think that? Um, this one is, would you, okay, what the fuck, dude? Annika, she asks, would you rather go to jail for 10 years or send your mom to jail for three? I'm going to guess years because if it's like hours, then I'd do that and she'd be fine with that. She'd understand. I think I'd have to go to jail. I wouldn't do that to my mom. I already put her in a jail for 18 years. 24, 24 years, actually. Because she had to take care of me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I want to put her in another jail. A worse jail. Dude, that's fucked, though. It's fucked that I kind of f- was considering not doing that. Am I a bad person? Yeah. Because, like, it's just three years, and I feel like my mom is such a nice, like, the nicest person ever, and she, like, is such a loving mother that she'd be like, I'll go to jail, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'll, like, I'll just, like, get a lot of work done. I'll, like, read a lot of books. Like, she'd be, like, making me not feel bad about it. Man, I love my mom. Um, this is going to be the title of the pod. <laughs> Episode 44, I love my mom. Um... <clears throat> How do I suck my own dick? That's a great question. Um, ah, dude, it went away. Bruh, fam, bruh. Okay. This is, okay, we'll end it with this one. Uh, this one asks, this person asks three hours on the moon or three weeks in Europe? I don't know. Wow, that's cool. Um, I mean, I was just in Europe, basically. So, (laughs) I'll probably do the moon, because, like, you can always go to Europe. You can't always go to the moon. So. Dude, in three hours, that's a great amount of time. You can, like, hop around for a bit. Hop around for an hour. Watch a couple episodes of, like, fucking Family Guy. And then hop around for another hour. That's what I'd do in the moon. It'd be a Family Guy sandwich, and the bread would be moon hops. Moon hop bread, Family Guy filling. Okay, um, well... I think nothing I've said in this podcast has made sense at all, but I told you I would do this, and I did it. There it is. So I'm never going to do a high podcast ever again. Um, High podcast, more like a goodbye podcast, okay? Um, Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, fucking rate and view the podcast, share on your story, you know? Tell, Tell the world, you know? 
embarrass me even more that this is a thing that I just did. Um, check out the merch. I'll put the link in the iTunes or you know podcast description, and uh, you can check it out. Grab some if you want to support me and my channel. And um, yeah, you can uh, check out the Patreon if you want the episodes a week early. And, you know, you get access to the private Discord channel. It's pretty fucking lit in there. And, um, yeah, we also do a bonus monthly video episode, which will be coming out real soon. So check it out. Um, Yeah. All right. Uh, Thank you very much for tuning in. This was episode 44 of Very Really Good with me, Curtis Connor. Um, That was a high podcast. Now, a goodbye podcast. See ya.